best gear is the gear you have on you. And what is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another video for you. In this one, I've got a quick little unboxing. And if you looked at the title or the thumbnail, you probably know what it's going to be. But, you know, I've been looking at some fixed blade knives for EDC carry, and I came across some really cool concepts. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been doing a little bit of research, watching what uh, videos about what SEALs carry, uh, their EDC, what, uh, you know, special ops guys carry. And I've come across some really cool stuff and a really common theme that I'm running into that a lot of these guys seem to uh, really swear by is the SOCP dagger. So that's what we're taking a look at today. Well, sort of. Sort of. So let's get into it. And guys, as always, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you're a returning viewer, hey, great to see you again. I hope you and yours are doing well. And in this video, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at an SOCP dagger. It's not the Benchmade SOCP dagger, but it is a copy. I, I know you guys, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to try to find a little bit of a cheaper, maybe a test test bed to try, you know, a concept out with first before I really just fully commit. The Benchmade SOCP dagger runs about $175. This one I picked up for considerably less than that. So uh, we'll definitely get into that in the video. But let's, uh, without further ado, let's get it over onto the bench and take a look at it. Okay, so we're here at the desk, guys, and we're going to take a look at the SOCP dagger. Now, of course, like I mentioned before, this one's not the Benchmade. This is a uh, it's by a company called Pave Seeing, I guess. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. I picked it up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys want to pick one up there at Amazon. It'll be an affiliate link, of course, as always. But uh, in case you don't know a lot about the uh, SOCP knife, SOCP stands for the Special Operations Combative Program. And it's uh, basically the hand-to-hand -hand combat system that they use to, tr to uh, train special operations personnel for the United States military. One of the instructors for it named Greg Thompson created a knife that he called the SLCP dagger. It's a very minimalist little small knife and it's really designed to be a sidearm retention knife really is what it's designed to be. And there are several knives that fall into this class, a lot of karambits, um, the TDI by K-Bar, they're specifically designed to sort of be sidearm retention knives. So this one's sort of the same, and, and sorry, I'm, I'm dragging on here too long, guys. Let me, let's just go ahead and take it out of the box and take a look at it. It does come with a, uh, it's, I don't know if this is plastic or Kydex. It feels, feels like Kydex. Not a, not a great looking clip there on it, but that's all right. And this is the knife itself. Now, again, guys, like I said, this is not the Benchmade SOCP knife. Those knives run $175. I think they're $250 if you get them with the hard trainer, which most of the guys that I've seen recommend getting them with the trainer if you're going to get one. But yeah, you can see by looking at it, it's a very minimalist design. Let's just take a minute to check out some of the, some of the design features of it here. You can see it has knurling or jimping in just certain key areas here on the back of the ring. And you can see where it's molded to fit just right for your hands. There's jimping here on the back of the blade. And the blade itself, it's got a nice wedge on this side. Then it's sharpened with some serrations. You can get these in several different styles that I've seen. There is a style that's a straight dagger, and it's sharpened on both sides. Uh, I actually like the one with the serrations in it better because that adds a little bit of functionality to this knife, which otherwise is really not a functional knife. It's not really in a, a knife you would use uh, as like a working knife, but you could use it for that. That's the thing with all knives. You can use them for, you know, all of them will cut. It's just, you know, what they're designed to do. The original SLCP dagger is designed to be a piercing weapon, so they don't come super sharp right out of the box. This one doesn't. Of course, the serrations are sharp. You could definitely cut some rope or seat belt or whatever with those. Um, it lets you get a good look at those, but, uh, it's made for piercing and, and you can see from the point and the tip of it, that it would be very good for that. And of course this uh, ring here helps you keep that retention. 
keeps it in your hand. And a lot of the guys I've seen talking about it said the good thing about the ring too is it's made so large so that even if you have gloves, you know, like a lot of the special operations guys are going to be wearing, uh, you know, the bump Kevlar gloves, still get your finger in that. And with it being such a low profile design, and it doesn't really look a lot like a knife, it's very easy to put in a pocket or put on a pack or plate carrier, anything like that, that has a clip, clip it to your belt, whatever. And uh, you've just got instant deployment there and it's automatically in your hand. Now, like I mentioned before in the video, these, these knives are designed to be a sidearm retention knife. If you're not familiar with what those are, if you're, let's say you're a policeman, you're carrying a pistol on your right hand side, then on your left hand side, you might carry something like this. You might carry something like, uh, well, hold on a second. Let's grab one here. Okay, guys. So uh, a good example of something like, uh, like a sidearm retention knife, a good example of that is going to be something like the uh, Cold Steel Double Agent, your, you, you know, more your karambit style knives, where these are made to be very easy, easy to retain. That's yeah. going to be hard to take out of somebody's hand. You know, it's, it's made for retention. And what those are useful for, like I said, if you're carrying right-handed, something like this K-Bar TDI. Well, this one's not a K-Bar. This is a cheaper version that I was trying out. Again, I think you guys might have seen the unboxing of this one. I'll, I'll put a link for it up here if you missed that one. It's a neat little knife. Uh, you know, something like the K-Bar TDI. It's useful for that, that grab on the offhand. So... And it's something super easy to use. You know, you don't have to be super dexterous with that left hand. All you have to do is just be able to punch with one of these. So, you know, it's made as like a trying to, let's say you're trying to retain your holster with the right hand. You would draw this and use this to create distance, you know, pokey poke, create some distance and then get to where you could draw your firearm. Um, and, and, you know, the Kershaw outlier that I did is another good example of that same side of, type of concept, but it's really sort of, uh, carried over into an EDC type of knife too, where you can fold it, um, carry it, you know, put away, but then it just instantly deploys into that karambit mode. And it's also pretty useful for a, uh, for just an EDC knife. I really like this one a lot, but, uh, you know, what I'm talking about in this one is that, that concept of the like fixed blade as an offhand carry. And that those would be your sidearm retention knife. So that concludes this section of the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and let me just give you a few of the specifications on the knife really quickly, and then I'm going to show you how to carry it on the body. And then lastly, I'll give you my final thoughts on it, and uh, also a teaser for another cool video that we have coming up. So be sure and stick around for that. So overall length on this one is clocking in right at 7 inches. It, it says it's 6.7 inches long, but that is dead on seven inches. So almost a three inch blade, got about a two and a half inch cutting surface on the blade there. Pretty, pretty nice thickness to it. And again, it is one, one solid piece of 440C stainless steel, and then it's got a PVD coating on it. So this one is, like I said, it's not the Benchmade SOCP, but it is made out of the same material. So you know, a lot of times you'll see copies of knives like this that uh, it, it's not the, the real thing. But man, they'll be made out of the same material and uh, using the same, almost the same design. And uh, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it does give us options. Um, you know, I don't know if it's right or wrong for a company to be charging $175 for a piece of 440C stainless steel. That's a, a little bit expensive to me, but it, you know, then again, that's, that's bench made. They're made in the U S and you're always going to have to pay that butterfly tax tax, but they do come out with some of the neatest designs. And again, this was a design between them and Greg Thompson, you know, so he was an actual combative instructor who designed this knife and uh, they were able to bring it to production for him, but a really cool I like it a lot. Now, I want to show you guys a couple of the carry options with this. So let's check that out. Okay, guys. So really quickly, I wanted to just show you a couple of different carry options for the SOCP dagger. And also just to give you a little bit of an explanation of, you know, 
what the SLCP dagger is for. Like I mentioned before, it falls into a class of knives that I wasn't aware of until recently that this was a class, but I kind of, uh, the concept was not unfamiliar to me, was the concept of the small arms retention knife. So what a small arms retention knife is designed for is a knife to be carried, say your strong side that you carry on. So this side would be as, you know, this is where I carry my G30, uh, G3C Taurus. And so you would carry the SOCP dagger or your small arms retention knife. You can barely even see it here. Let me get close so you can see it. You could only see the ring of it there. You would carry this on the opposite side of that. Weak side is what we would call it. So strong side is your firearm. Weak side is the opposite side of that. You know, a lot of people will carry just a regular, you know, pocket knife, the EDC knife on the right hand side. And a lot of the, the videos that I saw, you know, the former special ops guys and seals, they all carried some sort of small EDC knife, but they also carried some sort of small arms retention knife. And it makes a lot of sense. If you think about you're carrying on the right side, well, let's say somebody is really close to you and you have to create space. You don't have enough room to draw. Well, let's say you got to step back. You're trying to retain your own firearm from maybe somebody trying to take it. So what this allows you to do is you can draw this and you can, you know, it allows you to create space and then to be able to draw your weapon. One of the cool things, and, and this is unloaded, of course, guys, as always, it's unloaded and I just keep it on safe just to be sure. But uh, one of the other cool things that I saw about this is that... Let's say if you do draw with the right hand, you can still draw the pistol with this in your hand. Now, the pistol is still usable and this is still here in my hand. So, like I said, this is the just the ultimate retention blade. I just I don't know how you could do it any better than that. But anyway, one of the options I've seen is carrying it inside, clipped to the inside of the belt on the uh, weak side here. You can carry it, get it out there. You can carry it in your pocket. Now, I will say with this particular one, the clip is not that great on it, like I mentioned before. So if I draw it from this side, I do have to put tension to the outside of the pocket, but then it will come free. And of course, there it is in your hand and you got it. Uh, but if I don't put that tension towards the outside of the pocket, it tends to just draw the sheath right along with it. I don't know if I showed that sheath or not before, but they, they do come with a super awesome little slim sheath. And it, um, it, it I've heard that it'll tuck into a plate carrier right behind a magazine. Also wears very well in a pocket, like I showed you. Uh, it wears very well on the inside of the belt there. I saw a video with the Warrior Poet. I don't know if you guys are familiar with John Lovell, the Warrior Poet in his channel, but I saw a video where he was carrying and it wasn't one of these. It was, I think he had a clinch pick, but he was carrying it in sort of an upside down reverse grip here. And I thought that was a really neat way to carry it. So, uh, you know, I'm not an expert with this at all, guys. I'm really just sort of learning how to carry it myself, you know, but I wanted to show you guys sort of what I've learned about it and a little bit uh, sort of a peek into the world of the small arms retention knife. So, you know, now you know. And knowing's half the battle. Okay, guys. So just wanted to really quickly kind of give you my first impressions of it and let you know what I think. And also a little bit about why I was considering this as a carry. Like I said, I've watched a lot of interviews of SEALs, CIA operatives, Special Forces guys, Green Berets, talking about their EDCs. And this is like what they carry now in the civilian world. And it really got me super interested. And uh, I've just you know, I kept hearing about this particular SOCP dagger over and over. And uh, the more I researched it, the more that I realized this is something that's a very serious tool. It's There's a whole system of training that's around it. So if you do decide to get one, there's a whole world there that you can get into that I didn't even realize existed. And, you know, we find this a lot of times with ADC gear. We could find these little rabbit holes that we were completely unaware of. And, and I'm telling you guys, the SOCP dagger was definitely one of those things for me that just sent me down this whole rabbit hole of, of learning some new stuff. And I've got some techniques that I want to try out. And uh, I definitely want to start trying to 
carry something like that. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if the SOCP will be exactly what I settle on, but for right now, I'm going to try carrying it and just see how that works out. But uh, anyway, guys, if you have a SOCP dagger and a trainer, or if you just have the dagger, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Are you training with it? I would love to find it somewhere around me that did some type of SOCP training. Um, that would be super cool. But uh, as far as I know, there's not anywhere near here, but I might have to check into that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you like the content, please leave me a like down below. It's absolutely free. Won't cost you a dime. Also, if you are not subscribed and you like the video, brother, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button down there. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for We'll all wait for you to come back if you want to do that. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure and follow us on Instagram over at Average Gear Review, all lowercase. And stay tuned for the TGIF Pocket Dump coming up Friday. And hopefully we'll see you guys there. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. And last but not least, I bet you thought that I forgot about the big announcement. And being perfectly honest with you, I did forget about it until just now. But I didn't really forget about it because here it is in the video. So what I wanted to talk about, guys, all this stuff that I have stacked up over here, this is all going to be part of our big 500 subscriber giveaway that we've got coming up. I can't wait to do this, guys. I'm really thinking about doing a live, just doing a live giveaway. That way I could get on there and interact with you. You know, we can uh, talk in the chat and stuff like that. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, just sort of have a party as my way of saying thanks to all of you, everybody who subscribed. You know, I really appreciate you guys so much. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you get notified because we are going to be doing the subscriber giveaway. I've been waiting on a couple of people to send some things to me and I really, I really, really want to do this giveaway. Um, and I've been waiting on a couple of people who wanted to send a couple of things in to, to show some love to you guys. And I've got one, I believe that's coming in in the next week or so. So I'm shooting tentatively for two weeks from now. Don't hold me to that because I can't promise for sure, but that's what I'm going to try to do. I swear I'm going to try so hard to do it guys, but we do have cool prizes already. Um, I'm going to give away a couple of the uh, emergency ponchos which I've got an unboxing video coming up on these. Great item to have in a bug out bag or survival kit. A lot of uses you can get out of one of these. Um, we've got a couple of really cool things from Charval. We've got a tactical flashlight and a nice really heavy duty multifunctional shovel. Cool little swag pack from Flatanium. We've got quite a few things from them. Um, I've got some stickers from my good buddy BEEDC that we're going to be throwing in with every everybody that wins anything. I'm going to throw some of those stickers in for you. And our grand prize, of course, is going to be a Demco AD 20.5. That's right, folks. You can win one for free. All you have to do, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you know when we're going to do the giveaway. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again. Remember, always be carrying and the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer. I'm out of here.